there's nothing I can do for your wife. If I didn't act fast, my unborn baby would be dead before ever taking its first breath. Let me start from the beginning. Hi, I'm Tyler, and as you'll see in a sec, this hard to tell story actually contains an untapped secret about how to instantly shrink your waistline and get rid of your belly fat without ever breaking a sweat. And until right now, this waist slimming secret that is based on legitimate but little known European research has only been available to celebrities, professional athletes, and the extremely wealthy. And the few doctors and therapists who know these waist slimming tricks desperately want to keep it a secret Shh. because when I reveal this extremely simple secret to you in this video, these same doctors and therapists who charge celebrities, professional athletes, and the elite wealthy thousands for this knowledge will no longer be able to do so. Which means you must watch this breakthrough new video to the very end. Because if these powerful and wealthy doctors and therapists get their way, I'll be forced to take this video down and the secret I'm about to teach you will be once again buried and only available to the elite. The good news is, by the end of this short video, I'll show you the exact details of how you can use this secret in the next seven days to cut inches off your waist so you can squeeze into your favorite pair of jeans and be one step closer to the beach ready body you desire. And I'll share with you the two biggest mistakes that most people are making that can actually make your belly look swollen and add inches to your waist. And more importantly, I'll introduce you to the brave doctor, my now good friend, Dr. James Vager, who has decided to speak up and reveal these elite waist slimming belly flattening secrets to the world. Finally, I'll teach you a simple 23 second exercise that Dr. Vager taught me that you can do right now with zero equipment or experience, even while sitting in your chair, that will activate your core muscles, instantly shrinking your waist and flattening your belly. Now, back to the painful story that led me to Dr. Vager and the discovery of his elite waist slimming belly flattening secrets now where was i <laughs> oh yes it was the day my daughter was supposed to be born just before this moment the midwife looked at me in the eyes and said there's nothing more i can do we need to get her to the hospital it took me a moment to realize the gravity of the situation i was in after my heart finished skipping a beat i rushed to my wife's bedside scooped her up and carried her to the car or I drove her directly to the hospital for emergency treatment. As I drove in a frantic daze, I could only think about the safety of my wife and our poor, innocent, unborn child. Then out of nowhere, my wife began to emit a scream of pain. So bone-chilling, my mind wondered if either of them would ever survive the day. As soon as we got to the hospital, my wife was rushed into a hospital bed. I waited by her side, admiring how strong she was throughout this whole process. However, as the minutes turned into hours, the baby inside my wife refused to come out. I began to recognize a similar look on the faces of the doctors and nurses that I saw on the face of our midwife. The same look that started the story when she said, there's nothing more I can do. The doctor told us that we were running out of options and they would be rushing her back for emergency surgery. I had never seen my wife so deflated, so filled with pain and sorrow. And yet, I too was helpless completely unable to do anything for her situation. All I can remember about that moment was the intense emotional pain that's now scarred in my mind. She was wheeled into the operation room where I was able to join and support her through the birth of our child, or at least so I thought. While I stared deeply into my wife's eyes, I felt a tug on my arm from the nurse. She pulled me aside to tell me that the severity of my wife's condition had worsened, that for some reason, the local pain meds that they gave her were not working, that they would have to put my wife under general anesthesia for the full operation, and I was not allowed to join her or see the birth of my first child. I broke. As I paced the hospital hallway alone at 1 a.m. in the morning, I was not comforted by my Google search of C-sections. All the websites I found talked about how it takes weeks to recover from and all of the major issues that can happen after you undergo major abdominal surgery, things like back pain, abdominal separation, the cause of pouch bellies, and even digestive health. Even worse, I discovered that C-sections cause more than half of the total pregnancy-related deaths. My heart pounded in my chest, palms sweaty, trembling with anxiety. I lost my grip of my cell phone that I was using to frantically search for answers. To this day, I'll never forget that sound. The 
sound ringing in my ears from the glass on my phone shattering on the ground. And I couldn't help but feel that this was a metaphor for my life shattering around me. Standing there, my cracked phone staring back at me, my thoughts turned darker than they've ever been. Then, all of a sudden, the door slammed open and the cry of a newborn rang through the halls. The nurse turned to me and said, It's a baby girl, and your wife is recovering just fine. Every time I think of that moment, I thank God for keeping my family safe and delivering my beautiful baby girl to me. And, while the birth of my little girl is always difficult for me to share, you'll learn in a sec why it's so important for you to hear this story. Also, for good measure, and to show you that everything turned out all right, here's a photo of my family with my beautiful baby girl, happy, healthy, and most importantly, alive. Now, you're probably wondering, how does this story have anything to do with you slimming your waistline and flattening your belly, right? Well, this seemingly tragic event ended up leading me to Dr. James Vager. You see, after my wife went through her unexpected C-section, she had a hard time recovering. And, like most women and men, as I'll show you in a sec, all of her abdominal muscles stopped working correctly, which caused her belly to look different in a way that made her feel, well, very self-conscious. Even worse, no exercise she did helped her recover her previously flat belly. Not crunches, not sit-ups, or any other exercise that mainstream magazines and TV shows are telling you to do. Then I learned something powerful. Did you know that a muffin top, a pouch belly, or in the case of a man, a beer belly, isn't caused by excess fat? Nope. Instead, it's caused by a dysfunction in your core muscles where they stop working correctly. And the horrific result is your waist and belly growing, your back aching, your posture slipping, your strength vanishing, and even your digestive abilities worsening. Also, trust me when I say we tried everything, and none of it seemed to work. Now, since you watched this far, I might as well do a quick intro of who I am. As I said in the beginning of this video, my name is Tyler, and I'm a highly sought after California personal trainer and owner of one of the most popular online fitness companies with over 70,000 fans on Facebook. And as of today, my articles and interviews have been seen by more than 1 million people in the last month alone. So you can imagine how painful it was to not only experience a traumatic childbirth, but to also feel helpless in fixing your wife when tens of thousands of people considered me their go-to body transformation expert. However, I handled some very difficult situations with clients before. And thinking outside the box was something I was no stranger to. Then I met Dr. James Vager. After extensive searching, I came across this highly honored, brilliant doctor of physical therapy, a man with over 20 years of practical experience in the difficult field of neurologic rehabilitation. What this means is Dr. Vager is not your ordinary physical therapist. In fact, he's discovered and perfected a series of unconventional ab exercises that completely re-educate the muscles of your core, shrinking your waistline and flattening your belly fast. And I'll be the first to admit that at first glance, the exercises and routines Dr. Vager teaches made me a bit skeptical. In fact, they looked way too easy and there was no way these simple exercises could be the solution to fixing pouch bellies, muffin tops, and beer guts. However, that skepticism disappeared after I met just a few of Dr. Vager's patients. And what blew my mind is the outcome of a slimmer waistline, flat belly, and even building tone flat abs was only a side effect of Dr. Vager's routines. Just take a quick listen for yourself about what Dr. Vager's patients say about his core activation sequences. My back hurt constantly for years. My previous physical therapist was able to slightly reduce the intensity, but it was always there. With Dr. Vager's unique exercises, my pain was brought to zero for the first time in years. And my waistline has never looked better. I couldn't stand up straight because I had so much back pain. After doing these unique exercises Dr. Vager teaches, I could feel the difference. I was instantly standing straighter, and my body looked better because of it. My neck was so painful that I couldn't even read. Now I have no problem doing anything, and I feel strong, confident, and pain-free for the first time in a really long time. I had constant pain for months and was starting to think I couldn't go on my Europe trip. But using the sequences Dr. Vager teaches, I not only reduced my pain, but was able to hike all over Italy with ease. I didn't think I would be able to go at all, and yet I feel stronger now than I have in decades. 
Overall, his clients raved about fixing back pain, relieving digestive issues, toning their core muscles, improving their posture, eliminating achy hips and shoulders, and finally being strong again. I couldn't help but wonder, how can exercises that are so simple to use be so effective? So I asked Dr. Vega and his answer made me realize how brilliant he really was. He said to me, Tyler, early in my career, I identified the two major mistakes that every workout enthusiast, fitness magazine, and personal trainer are making. The first mistake is that most of the population is actually suffering from core dysfunction, which means instead of their core muscles working together as a team, they battle each other or simply don't help at all. Can you imagine a sports team where only one third of the players listened to their coach, one third of the players ran around frantically with blindfolds on, and the last third refused to do anything at all? In most people, this is how the muscles of their core are currently working. And unfortunately, this can cause bad posture, back pain, abdominal protrusion, pain in other major joints like neck, hips, knees, and shoulders, and even bad digestion. Apparently, Dr. Vega uncovered extensive research being suppressed in Europe that proves your core and all the muscles that make up your belly are the foundation of every movement you make. If these muscles aren't working properly, no matter how many crunches you do, you will never get visible waist shrinking results. These underground European studies explain how doing conventional ab exercises to strengthen your abdominal muscles has zero effect on you and can actually increase your waistline, worsen your posture, and make your existing joint problems hurt even more. Put into perspective, I spent my entire life studying fitness, and this was the first time I've ever seen this information. For me, this confirms that only a very small group of individuals, Dr. Vega being one of them, understands how to correctly apply this information. The exciting news is, this study reveals that you can actually improve every movement you make, whether in the gym or out, by retraining your core muscles to be the first to fire and work together. And this is exactly what Dr. Vega teaches using his simple core activation sequences. I'll show you an extremely simple 23 second exercise I learned from Dr. Vega in just one sec. But first, after Dr. Vega finished talking about how the majority of people walk around with a core that doesn't work properly, I asked him, so if a broken connection to your core muscles is the first mistake, What's the second? And Dr. Vega responded with, Well, Tyler, the second mistake is that everyone performs the wrong exercises all the time while thinking they are strengthening their core, when in reality, you are actually making things worse. Think about the analogy I used above, the one about the sports team where only one third of the people on the team were listening to the coach. Now ask yourself again, if all the coach did was train the one third of his team that listened to his instructions, would they ever really get better? Maybe a little, but the real thing he should be focusing on is teaching the other two-thirds of his team to listen to his instructions, right? Well, most fitness experts focus on doing direct core work, like crunches and sit-ups, or sometimes what they call functional core exercises, like the plank or Pilates-based floor routines. And much like the sports team above, what these exercises do is help strengthen the one-third of your core that's functioning properly already, which, can end up causing more dysfunction in the long run. The reality is, simply changing from one ab exercise to another will never work if your core muscles aren't working properly. Instead, I take an entirely different approach. You see, when I studied the science coming out of Europe surrounding how to reactivate your core, I learned something amazing about how deep down inside all of our human DNA is an exact sequence of exercises that your body must go through in order to function properly. You see, from birth, your body was designed to go through a series of movement progressions that will lead you from crawling to standing to walking and eventually running. The problem is, when you get injured, when you sit for hours a day, or even when you suffer from feeling self-conscious, your core muscles adapt as a way of compensating for the injury or postural dysfunction. And when your core